What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Caps, Moon, Sag, and everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love you guys so much. Okay, so thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, if you like to book a personal reading, the link's in the description box below. Most of my appointment times are filled up, but I do have some slots available if you are interested. I have a new service called uh, Life Coaching if anybody's interested in that. And yeah. This is free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Very important, okay? I received one channel message as I was meditating on your energy for week two of October 2022, Sage, and I heard about to break free, and I heard it big. About to break free. So that could be you about to break free, or somebody you're connected to about to break free. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Sagittarius. Spirit messages you have, on Sage. We have earthworm and phoenix. For some, you can be dealing with the earth sign or fire sign. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, heaven, or Jupiter charts. If you are Sagittarius, there's about to be a very significant lawsuit regarding a child that has HIV soon. There's about to be a very significant lawsuit regarding a child that has HIV soon. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Sagittarius. I've been picking up ch uh, children with HIV in here very strong within this past week. Um, there's about to be a very significant lawsuit regarding a child with HIV. So that could be you working in the legal sector, helping to place this lawsuit regarding a child that has HIV. Or um, maybe, I mean, hopefully you didn't put a child in danger to cause them to get HIV. Um, for some, you could be the parent about to place a lawsuit. It's a minor energy that has HIV. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Sagittarius. Or the lawsuit could be placed against you. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, okay? Stepping into a new experience. Spirit messages you have for signs of And a Sagittarius is about to find out some deep and dark secrets on an Aquarius soon and a Libra. Low vibrational Aquarius and Libra. They're about to, they're about to minimize contact with these, these people. For some, they are members of your family. Some, they're not. Okay. So, some kind of deep, dark, dooku secrets on a Sag or a Libra. Low vibrational, they don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Heard for some, they are members of your family. For some, they're not. Heard you're going to minimize contact with them. So I feel for some, you might have to communicate with them. For some, you might not. But um, minimal contact, if you do have to con uh, communicate with them, whether they're part of your family or not, it's low vibrational, Libra, and Aquarius energy, masculine or feminine, Libra or Aquarius. Miracles. I heard one of you guys was about to break free soon. It's about to be a miracle. Number 31 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 31. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 31. Gavel involvement with the law. Leg stepping into a new experience. Crown, honor, and respect will come to you. Earthworm.
dark arts spells, heavy dark arts spells that were performed around this time last year are backfiring. They will continue to backfire. There was a seance and a Ouija board that was used. Heavy dark arts there. Huge backfiring. They already huge backfire. Continue huge backfire. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, there was some kind of... Okay, so we're October 12th of 2022. So I heard about a year ago. So I'm assuming around October 12th of 2021 or somewhere around that time last year. Around Halloween time of last year, basically. Somebody performed some kind of... Heard they used a seance. Uh, they did a seance and Ouija board, all kinds of crazy dark arts, hoodoo, voodoo, witchcraft, crazy crap, basically. Around this time last year, around Halloween of last year, um, I heard that it's already backfired and it's going to continue to backfire. So I think this is a, now you, you have to plug yourself in which side of the karmic wheel you're in there. Did you perform? Were you part of these seances and hoodoo, voodoo, witchcraft shit, Ouija boards or whatever, whatever, um, or not, um, you have to plug yourself in which bit, uh, side you're in there. I feel for some, they were doing the dark arts against you. For some, maybe you were doing the dark arts against another. But how that resonates, it's backfiring. Whether they were doing it towards you or you were doing it towards another individual. Such. Heard it's already backfired. It's going to continue to backfire. Something to do with the Ouija board and seances and all kinds of dark art shit. One of the ways it back, is backfiring might be HIV of a child, possibly. And I hate to say that. But I'm pulling that in so strong. And confirmation with my phone. So, and I'm just being for real. Somebody put children in a very serious, dangerous situation. And whoever did this, I hope they get their ass, their pants sued off their ass. And that's just the truth. Okay. These people are the bottom of the barrel and they're about to be, they have already been exposed. Illness, 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 illness. It's not going to quit. Okay, I heard these people have already been exposed and they're going to continue to be exposed. Illness, 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 illness. It's not going to quit. So it sounds like the black magic is backfiring upon them in some form of illness, in some shape, form, or fashion. These dark arts wielders of last year, around this time last year of Halloween of 2021. Um, I heard they're the bottom of the barrel. So they're the scum on the earth, shit on the shoes, scum of the earth. Earthworms are the lowest of the food chain. And so this is like bottom of the barrel energy. I feel for some they perform the dark arts against you. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, but... I heard illness, 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 illness. So I think you're going to see these illnesses manifest on these dark arts wielders, or you already have. How that resonates and applies. For some, you could have been the dark arts manifestors, and maybe you're getting ill. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. Phoenix. The mini series of chain of events, a Sagittarius is about to move very far locations. It is about to benefit them in a huge way. Fresh start. One, you're going to become an advocate for yourself and others. Okay, so at least two of you guys are about to move. At least two are about to move very far distances. I've had a lot of far distance moving in this round of readings in week two of October. A lot of far distance moving. A lot. Um, and that's just the truth. At least two of you guys are about to move far distances. Um, I heard both of you guys is going to benefit you in huge ways. One, you're going to become an advocate for yourself and others. It sounds like when you move. One, I didn't, 
I, I don't know what occupation you're going to decide to do, whatever your heart desires there. But I heard both of you guys is going to benefit you in a huge way. Um, so you're going to rise like the phoenix, Sagittarius. Uh, the people about to move very far distances. I think you're about to escape from scum of the earth, shit on a shoe, dark arts, wielders, black magic covens, all kinds of dark arts energy here. But I think you're highly intuitive and you know this. You're about to rise like the phoenix, baby. Rise, rise, rise. Beautiful energy here. And through many series of shame events, a Leo feminine has already become a huge advocate and she's going to become a huge advocate. Really, a pillar of her community. She's about to rise to success. One, you're going to be very happy for her. One, you're not. Okay, so a Leo fem energy. So you plug the Leo Fem in, how does she resonate? Um, I heard she's already become a uh, pillar in her community and an advocate in her community. And I heard she's going to continue. Um, so whatever she advocates for and how that resonates and applies, feel, uh, feel for some you're positively connected to her because I heard um, she's already had some form of success in this and she's about to have more success in it. Her for one, you're, gonna, you're happy for her and you're going to continue to be happy for her, it sounds like. One, you're not going to be happy for her. It sounds like when she rises even more, like the phoenix rising from the ashes, like the two Sag is about to move far distances and basically restart over from dark arts energies over here, earthworm. Um, so you have to plug this Leo Fem how, in how they resonate, um, how they resonate and apply. Okay, Sagittarius, are you happy for her? Are you going to be happy for her when she rises even more in success? Or are you not going to be happy for her? If you're not happy for her, you really need to reevaluate why you're not happy for her. Because if there's jealousy, envy, spite, maliciousness, and hatred there, there's that's some inner healing shadow work that needs to be done. If anybody needs to hear that. Or any kind of secret competitiveness or anything. Okay. But kudos to the two about to break away and move far distances. Kudos to you guys. That's beautiful energy. One, you're about to receive a phone call soon. One, you're about to make a phone call soon. You don't expect this phone call, and they don't expect you to make this phone call. So unexpected phone call energy. One, you're about to receive the phone call. One, you're about to make the phone call. Both unexpected phone calls. And for some, you could receive an unexpected phone call and make an unexpected phone call because energy is coming first. So you have to plug yourself in how you resonate. But unexpected phone call energy, whether you're receiving the unexpected phone call, making the unexpected phone call, or both. Involvement with the law. Police involvement are about to become very strong in a Sagittarius's life. For one, they're about to call the police. For one, the police are about to be called to their residence. Okay, uh, heavy police involvement here. Uh, for some of you guys, you're going to call the police. So you are calling the police. For some, the police are about to be called to your residence. So heavy police energy here. Uh, whether you are calling the police on person, people, place, or situation, and you're calling the police and initiating it, or somebody's calling the police on you, Sagittarius, or somebody in your residence. How that resonates and applies. And legal issues here, too. And legal issues here, too. I heard it. Legal issues here, too. A sexual harassment lawsuit is about to become very significant in a, uh, Sagittarius's life. An invasion of privacy. And harassment. 
a sexual harassment lawsuit and invasion of privacy and a harassment is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius's life. So some kind of sexual harassment lawsuit, whether you're filing the sexual harassment lawsuit against person, people, place, or situation, well, person or people, um, or somebody's filing the sexual harassment lawsuit against you, Sagittarius. Only, I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. And then some kind of invasion of privacy and harassment. So somebody's privacy was invaded. Did you invade somebody's privacy or did somebody invade your privacy? Did you harass somebody or did somebody harass you? Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But I think that might be why the police are about to get involved. Some kind of invasion of privacy, harassment, or sexual harassment lawsuit with the legal system, justice system. For some, I think you could be a lawyer or the legal system or a paralegal involved in this sexual harassment lawsuit or the other side or what have you, what have you. Stepping into a new experience. I just want to say there's a lot of lawsuit energy in here. Sexual harassment lawsuit, a lawsuit regarding a child that uh, with HIV. I think a caring parent is about to file that lawsuit. And let me tell you, if either one of my children ended up with HIV, I sure as hell be filing a lawsuit in the New York damn minute. You better believe it. I kept my kids in very good health. In my, 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 my care, there's no way I would put them in the claws of predators for them to obtain HIV. There's no fucking way. So if that happened to my kids, you better believe I'd be filing a lawsuit. And that's just the damn truth. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. Anybody that knows me knows I love my kids with every breath inside of me. Every breath. And it pisses me off that there's a at least two children out in the universe that have HIV. And one of them was raped. Tell me the justice in that. Because there's not. The injustice system. Is what that shit is. And that's just the damn truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Legs stepping into a new experience. Someone has been trying to gain dominion over your money. A family member. For some, it's a daughter. For some, it's a niece. But it's not going to work. For some, it's an aunt. But it's not going to work. They have been trying hard. Heavily, heavy family member energy, uh, trying to gain dominion and control over your money, if this resonates and applies. For some of you guys, it's a daughter. For some, it's a niece. For some, it's an aunt. They've been trying to gain heavy dominion and control over your money. Probably manipulating paperwork, like that false sponsor uh, reading I did, where somebody basically altered power of attorney shit and altered documentation saying that they were taking over somebody's money and they were uh, mentally incompetent um, to have to be able to manage their money. But they never even told the person that they had the money and they went out and just spent the money and didn't even tell the person that they had their money. But they, behind the scenes, created all these series of chain events to alter the documentation saying they were mentally incompetent and they couldn't manage their money and blah, 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 blah. But the whole time, they never even told the person they had their money, one. And two, if you do that with the sponsorship with the money, the POA and the sponsorship with the money, it is your legal obligation to tell the person you are controlling their finances. And they never did that. So they broke the rules. They bent the rules. They broke the law. They broke the law in that reading. So I wonder if it's something like that. Uh, possibly. Similar. I heard they're, they're not going to, they're trying, but they're not going to be successful is what I'm saying. So they're trying to control, gain control and dominion over your money. I think they're trying to pull something like that is what I'm trying to say. 
but they're not successful. So they haven't been successful. Whether it's your aunt, your sister, or um, an aunt, a sister, or a, um, who was the other one? Aunt, sister, and um, it was a female. Niece, your aunt, sister, or niece. Um, heavy femme energy here. Um, so they're trying to gain control and dominion over your money, but they haven't been successful, whether it's your aunt, sister, or niece. So stepping into a new experience is you being able to control your finances, you having control of your money. I think they were trying to pull some kind of false sponsorship shit with the mental incompetency is what I'm trying to say with that reading I did a few weeks ago. But um, but they haven't been successful, whoever you are, uh, Sagittarius, whether it's your aunt, sister, or niece, okay? So stepping into a new experience in this aspect, you can be a man or a woman if this resonates for you. You're a feminine energy. You're a femme energy. You're a femme energy. You're a femme energy, whether it's your aunt, sister, or niece. Um, but they haven't been successful, so stepping into a new experience, controlling your own money, your own finances, your own life. Um, you don't need a handler. You don't need anybody to control your money. I feel your A and O times four, person, people, place, situation, or at least A and O times three, three person, people, situation. I mean, person, people, place, for a situation. And I'm just being for real. For one, you're about to get a new job, new job soon through many series of cha uh, chain of events. Unexpectedly. Okay, I think that's the miracle energy. For one, you're about to get a new new job soon through many series of chain of events. So for one, it's about to be a uh, miracle. I think for some, you've been unemployed a while um, or you're in a job you hate. However, that resonates and applies. But through many series of chain of events, you're about to get a new job. Um... I think it's going to be a miracle for some of you guys. And it's, I think it's going to be something you've never done. Stepping into a new experience. Um, something new to you is what I'm feeling. And I feel honor and respect will come to you in this new job, this new experience. Um, that could be where the unexpected phone call comes in for some of you guys. And the Phoenix Rising energy, possibly. Um, congratulations to whoever that's for. For one, you're about to finally sell your home. You thought about it for many years. You're about to do it. Okay, for one, you're about to finally sell your home. I heard you had thought about it for many years and you're about to do it. So, um, selling of a home. Apparently, you've owned this home for many years, whoever you are. Um... You've been thinking about it, contemplating it for many years, and you're about to do it. So stepping into a new experience, finally selling your home. Apparently, you've been thinking about selling it for many years, and it sounds like you're about to put it on the market or sell it for fast cash, however that resonates and applies. Um, legal with real estate, deeds, transfer of deeds, that sort of energy. Honor or respect will come to you. A Sagittarius is about to make a really step up and make a very significant report on a pedophile. They made a lot of money off of children in the in the past in the pedophile ring. The Sagittarius knows this and they're about to step up and report it. Have gotten very wealthy off the backs of children and sneakiness. Well, kudos to you, 
So one of you guys knows about some kind of pedophile ring, whether it's still active or it's been broken up or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, honor and respect will come to you in this aspect about, I heard you're finally about to step up. So I think you've known this information for a hot minute, but maybe you were blackmailed or scared to reveal it or whatever situation applies for you, Sagittarius. But it sounds like you're about to step up and do it. I heard you know, um, it sounds like several people Masculine energies, very greedy. Sexist masculine energies. Very greedy, sexist masculine energies. Basically, um, made money off of kids' backs um, in a pedophile ring. In a pedophile.